In this video, we're gonna be addressing a very important question. What is a variable? Let's get started. Now before we go into answering that question, we first have to remember what data is. Remember, data is like information. There's a subtle difference though. We don't necessarily need to know all the information about data. We might be gathering some particular pieces of information from data. So that's the difference. So an observation is the result of measuring your data. Now you might say this is a statistic. And by itself it actually is a statistic. But in general, an observation is when you analyze a sample size of one. So you have a group of objects, in this case, that is size one, and you observe it. Let me go through an example because th there is a very strong difference between statistic and observation. So let's do an example of an observation. So let's talk about a sample. Let's say our sample was people that live in my house. So if you don't know who lives in my house, it is me, my wife, and my son. So that is our sample. So let's go through an example of an observation. I am a male. Now notice here, I'm not making a claim, I'm not measuring the entire sample, I'm just measuring one object within that sample. So I'm looking at just me, I'm not looking at all of my wife, my son, me, I'm just looking at me right now, which is what distinguishes observation from statistic. So this is not really a statistic, it's just an observation. Now before we get into the concept of variable, we first have to address what variable is in algebra. In algebra, a variable is just a number that varies, or it changes, it represents the result of a measurement. So if you think about time, time can be considered a variable because it is something that varies, or the distance that a car travels because that is something that varies. It's also the result of the measurement of a quantity. So time can be measured with the ruler seconds. Distance can be measured with the ruler miles. So it's important to understand what a variable is in the context of algebra because it's actually gonna be really similar uh, when we use the, the term variable in statistics. So it's important to distinguish the term variable in algebra and the term variable in statistics because there is a really, really important difference here. In statistics, the observations themselves do not change. So when you gather information from data, that information itself is not changing, but the observations are different. So you might have varying observations. When you look at data, you're prob when you measure that data, you're probably not gonna get the same information from every member of your sample. Those um, measurements might be different. The observations might vary themselves. But the individual observations themselves do not vary. Let me go through an example to explain this in more detail. In my previous example, gender was the variable. Gender is something that varies amongst my household, meaning that it, my household is not just completely one gender. The gender varies amongst the members of this household, meaning that the observations are going to be different. So it's important to understand that my gender does not vary. I'm a male, that is not ever going to change. You have to understand that gender does not vary. The observations do not vary. However, the observations are varying in response. So I'm a male, but my wife is a female. That's different. There is varying responses to that variable. So technically, there are different genders in my house, but those observations are not changing. Those genders are not changing. It's just that when you look at our, the genders amongst the list, it looks like there are varying genders amongst this household. In statistics, variables vary across different observations. So when, you, when we're talking about varying, we're talking about looking at a bunch of observations. You're looking at a ton of observations and you notice they're all different. So they vary. So for example, height is an example of a variable. It's not that my height is changing because when you observe my height, you're not sticking a ruler, 
you know, you're not sticking a measuring tape and measuring my height every single second and notice, hey, by the way, it's changing. You just do it once and you move on to the next guy. And you notice that the next guy has a different height. And you move on to the next guy and you notice they have a different height. And you notice that the heights are varying, but they, you know, maybe are around five foot or five feet or something. And you start making some conclusions based off of that information. So it's important to note that the variables are changing amongst observations across different observations. The observations themselves are not varying though. Anyways, thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next lecture. You just watched a video from Amore Learning. We provide free math videos and we offer many online courses. We also provide free math tutoring via YouTube Live every Thursday and Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video to get access to all of our free content. And put a comment in the comment section if you have any math questions. Check out all of our courses on amorelearning.org.